Hey guys, welcome to Pokedex. So I have a couple of issues that I wanted to discuss and that's why I'm making this video so that you guys can answer in the comment section below and I can listen to your feedback or read. Uh, the first one of those issues is uh, about the custom URL. So finally got to 1000 subscribers. Thank you guys for that. Thank you for your support. And it turns out I could have changed my custom URL from 500 subscribers. Oh well, but yeah, I tried, I decided to change my URL and it turns out I can't use Pokedex uh, as the name. I have to add something else at the end. And that's because although there's no other channel on YouTube named Pokedex and the URL is not being used by anyone because the accounts have to be synchronized with Google+, something stupid like that, um, I can't use Pokedex because there are Google+, users that already have the same name. So I have to add something else like Pokedex 2015, something like that. So I wanted to ask you guys for what your opinion about what my URL should be. Um, it can be something like Pokedex TCG, Pokedex 1. Once you change your URL, you can change it back. So it's kind of an um, important decision. And it's not that it matters too much because people can usually find my channel through search uh, by searching YouTube for something like, uh, for example, if they want to play a Rayquaza deck or something like that, they would probably search YouTube for Rayquaza and Pokemon TCG or something like that. But if I someday decide to, I don't know, make a promotional t-shirt or something like that and I want to stick my URL there, I'd like it to be um, something memorable and uh, easy to understand so it's it kind of matters to me uh, it, it, I'm really annoyed that I can't use Pokedex especially since uh, nobody really cares about Google Plus and no one is using um, Pokedex on YouTube so that kind of bum bums me out so I want to I want to ask you guys what you think about that and the second uh, sorry second thing is uh, streaming so I finally uh, set up OBS so that I can uh, stream through Twitch or YouTube. I The only thing missing from the um, Mac software is an easy way to have the music playing at the same time that I'm using my microphone. Uh, you kind of have to use third-party software and it's really buggy and I really don't want to go there because I, I spent basically a whole day trying to set it up and I couldn't get it to where I wanted it. So I kind of gave up on that. So if I'm going to stream, it's going to ha it's going to be without any music playing in the background, which kind of makes it a little sucky. But oh well, that's what we have. I wanted to ask you guys if you're interested in that. If there's interest in interest in following uh, me and watching me stream, because uh, it's really easy for me to do it. Uh, I'm going to play anyways. So if I'm playing, um, I I guess I can just set up the the o OPS and just stream at the same time if that's something that interests you guys so I guess what I want to ask you is would you rather me stream on YouTube or on Twitch and are you interested in that uh, tell me what you guys think about those issues and I look forward to reading your feedback and uh, thank you for uh, watching the whole video so here's a, a code for you guys I guess for one of you guys and Till the next time, see you guys, bye.